This is my new spider. Um, I've got a lot of interest in the genetics for the snake because of the neurological damage. And what I've been seeing is if you look at a snake with IBD, inclusion body disease, uh, the convulsive um, lack of self-control with their bodies, that leads me to believe that the main problem with IBD is that it's attacking the uh, nervous system the same way a spider's genetics are affecting its neurological system. But I found with this new boy that if he's like freaking out or spazzing out or pacing really bad, if I take my hand, set my hand on him, comfort him and reassure him, then he settles right down. So, you know, if anybody has a spider ball python that's really thrashing around a lot, I found that the main thing to do to help them stop do, having that convulsive behavior is to soothe them and calm them down, reassure them that they're okay. Because it is, it's a cross between their natural instincts and stress levels that they're born with out of instinct and the neurological damage. So if you can cross that line and get them to calm down and reassure them that they're okay, then they settle right down. Even if they're in a really bad state, you know, freaking out, pacing, spinning, twirling, whatever they're doing, however your snake's reacting. But with the spider genes, I found that comfort and gentle handling of them really slows down that nervous response from them so they don't have all these, I call it lack of self-control, convulsive behavior is what they're having technically. It is neurological, but I'm seeing that a lot of it is not just neurological, it's because they fear for their lives. So it's a mix of feelings that's going on with them. It's not just neurological problems. It, uh, you have to cross that line where you understand them and their, how they respond to things. And if you can keep those stress levels down, you'll find that your spider ball python is a lot calmer. And that's beneficial to the snake because you don't want your snake frilling all over the place and freaking out with the spider genes. It's not cute. It's not amusing. It's definitely stressful for them. But all you have to do is comfort them and reassure them that they're okay and they'll calm right down with those seizure-like activities. That's the only thing I can compare it to because it's, when they lose control, that's, it's more like a convulsive seizure type of behavior. But I decided I'd make a video and explain that to people about uh, spider ball pythons that if you have one that's really frail on itself and out of control all the time, just comfort the snake. It's amazing. Look at that head stamp. You are a beautiful young man. Yes, you are. But I've been taking him out and observing him a lot lately. I do all my snakes anyway, but I've noticed that about him. If you can comfort him and reassure him, there's no wobble at all. But if he gets stressed out, the head wobble starts. He'll turn his head and neck upside down. There, see? Relax. Uh, it's food for thought for people that have spider ball pythons that have these neurological problems that are real obvious and evident. But you can have some control over it and help them with it by comforting them and soothing them so they feel safe and secure. Just a thought. You're okay. Yes, you are. You're okay. Look at you. Relax. You're safe. Yes, you are. You're fine. I just want to look you over and be sure you're okay. What a beautiful baby. Love that head stamp. That's gorgeous. Relax. Yeah, relax. Little teeny bit of head wobble. Probably from the trip, though, so 
that doesn't concern me. Either you're a responsible snake keeper or you're not. And that's all it comes down to. That's a gorgeous head stamp. Look at those beautiful colors. Yeah, I know. I don't want to stress you out. Spiders, I've noticed when they get stressed out and nervous, they really start kicking up a little bit of a wobble. So, Mama doesn't want to stress you out any here. You're all right, honey. You'll be okay. You'll get spoiled rotten in love just as much as the rest of them, trust me. I just want to say thank you, Jacob. Beautiful. Gorgeous, baby. Yes, you are. So I want to go out and prowl now. I'm out of that damn box. I can't imagine being stuck in a box in a bag for a long trip. Somehow. You're okay. Calm down. Stop. Relax. Now stop. Calm down. You're safe. Relax. Slow down. Sometimes all it takes is a touch of a hand to calm them down. See? You're alright. Yeah. See? Relax. There you go. See? You're fine. After a trip like that, I imagine having some kind of reassurance that you're okay in sight is probably a positive thing for any snake. You're alright. Yes, you are. You're fine. You know, put him in a plastic tote for a few minutes to observe him, and then I'll go put him in this enclosure. Nice big 34-inch NPI enclosure. High box, heat, everything all set up, fresh water. Hold on. Relax. No, no. No, no. No. There you go. I'm just excited. Yes, I am. You can't get out right yet. You haven't been here long enough to be prowling in the house. Nope. That's a new baby. Look at you. Aren't you pretty? Aren't you pretty? Beautiful head stamp on him. If it sits still long enough to capture it for you. But Yeah, he's a gorgeous little guy. He's a Mojave spider. My first spider. I've heard so much about him. I decided it was time for me to raise one to see what all the big hype was about them. Eh, maybe they are needy snakes, but I, I, it gives me a reason to pay them that much more attention. I just love animals that are in need of special care. Like I said, it doesn't matter as long as you're a responsible keeper. Beautiful pattern. First stops moving. That's got to be the spider genetics because I don't have ball pythons that are constantly on the go and twitching and jumping and hopping all over the place. But could be because it's a new home too, like I said. Time will tell.